How's it going guys? Nakarama here and welcome to For the King. Um, and with me, as you can already see, is my good friend actually once again. Hi, hi Matt. Hey everybody, it's Slam422, also known as Matthew. What's this? We're not playing The Wild 8 this time? Yes, in fact, we are not playing it. We are playing a game that we got for free on the Epic Game Store a while back when it was available called For the King. Um, neither of us have any idea what we're getting ourselves into right now. But I thought it might be a nice change of pace, so yeah, let's see what we got. Yeah, so a little forewarning for anybody who basically doesn't know what the um, For the King is. Uh, it's a roguelike game with like random turn-based combat uh, and literally anything can happen. Like we literally get, got even right at the beginning of the game a message don't get basically don't get discouraged if you don't beat the game on the first try because other people have come before us that basically have come far and fallen flat on their face because this game apparently is supposed to be hard yeah i had no idea what i was getting into when i suggested we play this game but we're here so might as well do it also i thought i saw something it. i thought i saw something in the options about there being like uh hexes I'm thinking we're going to have like some kind of like hex grid that we're going to be moving along. Uh, um, but that's yeah, about the, that, that, that sounded about that, right? That's about the extent of what we know so far. So, I guess it's time for us to get started. Crafting adventure. Ooh. Sanctums protect characters from death, but are destroyed in the process. Party select. Okay, so oh. Uh, uh, can oh, you press? Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Um, so uh, I am currently set as a blacksmith. Then there's hunter, scholar, m uh, minstrel, and then the blacksmith again. So I'm guessing hunter is supposed to be like the ranger class. Um, yeah, probably like bow and arrow. All right. Uh, oh, there, blacksmith. Though lacking experience in combat, the blacksmith knows armor. Some sometimes tuning toward, uh, turning towards the enemy, lets the armor absorb what would have been a staggering blow. Special God, abilities. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Special abilities: passive skill, steady. Starting equipment: blacksmith's hammer. Simple iron shield and plus 11 gold. Hmm. You just need to click on the class info. Okay, uh, class info for the hunter. Uh, the hunter is fast, precise, and watchful. Skilled at avoiding danger while traveling over land or underground, the hunter attacks with deadly accuracy in combat. Special ability, skill, elite sneak, Skill, Elite Trap Evasion. Passive skill, Energy Boost. Passive skill, Called Shot. Starting equipment, a, a hunting bow, hermit grass, and eight gold. All right, then the Scholar. While other heroes are keeping fit or maintaining their weapons, the Scholar's nose is buried deep in books. Ceaseless study keeps the mind sharp and every ready and Ever ready, and and ever ready to make a sure strike in a tangle of combat. Uh, special abilities is passive skill is refocus. And starting equipment is scholar's book, teleport scroll, and plus 10 gold. Alright, and then the minstrel is the last one. Yep. Uh, the minstrel is formally educated in the performance of music and the recitation of great ballads. Such songs inspire companions to strive for excellence in combat and to ponder well their shared experiences. So the special abilities, he only has two uh, passive skills, encourage and inspire. Uh, his starting equipment is a simple loot and 15 gold. I'm guessing he's like the buffer. Like if he's around like other classes, uh, like fight harder and do better. Yeah, probably. Oh god, I just re realized actually, I guess the sound actually of the game is still way too loud. You're probably. Oh, what did I do? 
What did I do? <laughs> you disconnected. Crafting adventure. Okay, so what will you actually take? Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, like, I, I kind of like the blacksmith. Uh, I am male. I am big brute. Yeah, um, let's see here. I Ooh. guess if you're going like with blacksmith... That. Uh, so I'm guessing, like, uh, Blacksmith is, like, the warrior. Uh, Hunter is, like, the, the ranger, so, like, uh, longer range, more accurate shots. Not as much damage, but still decent. So it's, like, more stealth-based. Scholar is probably more magic class. Um. Pretty much like the, the, uh, main. the bookworm. And then, of course, you have the minstrel who is support. Um, I think I'll go with uh, the scholar. So All customize. right. Uh, hair color. Where is my hair color? There. Boom! We have me now. Backpack hell. I am brute. I. I'm here right now to hammer enemies with hammer. I I had a different quote, but I'm not going to say that one because that would sound just wrong. All right, and there's my character all set up. Blue clothes, blue hair. Why not blue skin? <laughs> because one, that would look weird, and two, it wasn't an option. Why? Are you not a Martian? No. Beep boop, I'm coming from out of space. Anyway, I am ready. I am ready. Um. Uh, I think you have to start us. Yeah, but how? Oh, enter. <laughs> Duh. The Brink of Chaos. Good King Bronner has been slain. The once beautiful kingdom of Farl has been corrupted by wind, ca wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. The grieving Queen Rosa Rosamon has called for Farl's ordinary citizens to search the land for, kings, for the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest, where there have been rumors of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods. Three would-be heroes meet in Orton, to begin their quest. Well, technically, <coughs> it's two. Anyway, let's go. Oh. Oh, gods. Uh, oh, okay, Rasamon. First, the wizard Vexor vanishes. Then, my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope, Farrell. Uh, last hope of Farrell. Seek out Hildebrandt in Woodsmoke. You will be told how to best aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, lest our realm be consumed by it. Best objective, go to Woodsmoke in the Guardian Forest. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, so how does this game even work? Go to Woodsmoke in the Guardian Forest. Okay, so first... Okay, I've got control of the cursor now. Ah, um, no! Oh, you've got... Roll, roll movement? What? Oh... What what do I do? I've got the controller, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, let's actually find out where do we want to go? Like, do we go st straight for our goal, or where do we go? Uh. Okay, well, hold on. Left shit and shift and cl I. <laughs> yeah, left, left shit. shit. <laughs> left shift and click to look at things. Uh, let's see here. So, Orton, a humble village of fishers and traders. We'll be able to find room and board here, but little else. We've got services, the market, the quest board, and put them in. Okay, so you, you rolled movement. So how do I do that? No, no, no. I didn't roll movement at all. I'm just moving my mouse. All right. So here's a stone hero. Tribute to receive full focus plus full focus. Hold on. Let's shift click for info. Stone heroes are Farl's monuments to ancient heroes. Once found on the map. Excuse me. Bless oh. you. 
Once found on the map, they may be visited to gain a large amount of XP. Ooh, that should be where we try and start to go. So Wait, here to the rolled, stone hero? Yeah. So you rolled a, a four for movement, so you can probably move over there. All right. Okay. An engraved plague reads scenario. Tribute or leaf? Um, stone heroes replenish a character's focus and grant XP, but may only be tributed to once. So, because I'm kind of the frontline fighter from the both of us, should I be the one who is, like, uh, actually also leveling up a little bit earlier? Uh, that might be a good idea, but remember, uh, this is, this has turn-based combat, so... I know, I know, I'm, ju I'm just saying, but, I mean... Technically speaking, enemies still attack me probably first when I'm, well, in front of you. Yeah, maybe. All right, you go ahead and level up. All right, tribute. Oh, it, it gave me 12. Unknown statue, hero of Faro. One day you, your deeds will be celebrated as well, hero. Nakarama has gained full focus and plus 12 e XP. Okay, okay and, and I, still have oh, I can still move once. Yeah. There we go. Now okay. you, uh, it should be your turn. Um, do you have to do anything? Because I don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I need to end my turn. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, okay, I now get it now. To me. Okay, I rolled a four. As well, nice. All right, so... I think I will... I'm just going to head over to Woodsmoke. All right. Oh, yeah, you need to okay. click the iron... Uh, the iron glass. <laughs> the hourglass in the top right corner. Okay, the hourglass? Yeah. In turn. All right. All right, so what is my roll? Four again, huh? Yeah. You All can right. You can make it to Woodsmoke. Uh, provide shelter, equipment, services, and extra work. Whoa, hi. Uh-oh. Uh, Beastman Warlock. Certified with all combatants in the area. So that would be basically you, um, this beast, and the crow down there. Beastman Warlock. This clever beastman understands that knowledge is the greatest weapon. All right, so. Oh. Oh, so if I would ambush or sneak, I would need to roll. Ah, and you have to roll a certain amount yeah. in order to get us. For success. ambush, uh, zero is 8% failure, one, 32% failure, two, 42% failure, and with a three, there's a 19% chance for success. So I guess those percentages are just how likely you're going to get a successful roll. Yeah, basically when you get a, uh, like there's a 19% chance to roll a free to get success. And because I'm a blacksmith, right. I'm pretty sure that's oh, not I, going to be is, good. This is kind of like, uh, uh, oh God, it's not d and it's, it's another game that has a similar kind of like, uh, another similar uh, uh, tabletop game that has like this kind of grid layout. Oh God, what was that called? I played one like that actually once before myself, and I, I actually never figured out what the name of the game was anymore. I literally couldn't. Well, I know there's Risk, but that's more of a, uh, that's more of a, uh, Napoleonic War simulator. Yeah. Anyway, we'll figure it out later. Why don't we just fight it straight up? All right. Okay. So... Oh, goes first. Oh, it robbed me of some of my money. Oh, that's not good. Your turn. Oh, oh it's my turn. Uh. Oh, I'm the last one to go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're probably the strongest, but you're also... He's focused. Flee, surge, and area blast. Oh, wait. The crow is five, and the beastman is... Oh, and I guess we're like 38 and 36. 
Uh, I'm not sure what that number is actually supposed to imply, though. <laughs> Me neither. Can you, uh, by the way, guys, can you tell that we have literally no idea what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, okay, so we got Area Blast, which is a standard attack, and Surge, which is six magic damage, and it has 83% accuracy per slot accessory. Okay. It has a 57% chance of being cast perfect, which ignores resistances. Oh. But it's six magic damage. Mm, okay, so everything here is kind of like uh, randomly based on what you roll. Yeah. That's okay, going to be dangerous so for us. I'll go Normal area blast attack. first. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that oh, that's their HP. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, now it's my turn. So I can taunt, which is perfect with 72% draw attention. I can hit them. Uh, per slot, accuracy is 81, physical damage 10, which is a standard attack. And I have a, a shockwave that basically has a perfect hit chance of 25% and deals 5 splash damage. Hmm. I guess I'm just going for my normal one right now. Yeah, and I'd suggest you target the beast, man. He's got the highest health right now. <laughs> bye bye buddy oh dire crow didn't get a chance oh no wait it's 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 not his turn yet i go first all right so um i will uh, i use... guess it just was its uh turn but it basically failed apparently ah okay so i will uh use surge oh i got a perfect nice can I get my Victory. money back? Uh, oh, and we got, we got God's, God's beard. I don't think we get our money back. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Uh, Victory, you loot uh, the fallen corpse uh, and find. Oh, Ooh, hey! I, gold coin. I take the gold. Ah, okay. All right, so do I? Yeah, I still have my two. So Ooh. head to Woodstock. I'm in. Right. Hildebrand, royal agent. Always good to see new faces join the quest. I'm Hildebrand, the Queen's agent overseeing things in the Guardian's forest. Things are bad here. Really bad. Ooh. Huh? Your turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Alright. All signs point to some evil folk who have locked themselves away in the glittering mines. Ooh. Ooh, it's over there. I'll work on getting you down there. In the meantime, a strange contraption has been spotted. Go investigate it. Quest objective, solve the cold device in the Guardian Forest. Hmm. Was that voice a little bit too deep? And That's fine. Oh. And some angry folks in fancy robes have made themselves right at home. Best prepare for a good fight. Kill the Chaos Acolyte in the Guardian Forest. Something tells me we might want to level up for that. Well, yeah, most definitely. Com complete these uh, objectives in any order. All right. A sleepy forest uh, village. Smoke rises from chimneys and lone villagers go about their business. So uh, I'm just going to check the services real quick. So... In the inn, staying at the inn will replenish a modest amount of HP and focus. Meditation. Guided meditation will replenish all focus points. Healer. A visit to the uh, healer will fully replenish HP and remove ailments. Blessing. The process of blessing removes all curses. Hey, I just noticed something. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's an area down at the bottom called the Sanctum of Haste. Whoever gets there gets plus two movement bonus. So you might want to get down there. Um, on my next I don't turn. know if that's like movement for like on the board or if it's movement like in battle like speed. I actually but, don't know, but it would be still interesting to figure out. Here, let me let me, let me check that out. Uh, sanctums are Farl Hill's ancient monuments to many gods. Characters may devote themselves to a single god and become its champion. 
Upon becoming a champion, the character is fully healed and granted powerful semi-permanent buffs. Each god bestows unique buffs, but may only be devoted to by a single character. If the champion falls in battle, the life pool does not decrease. However, the sanctum will crumble, moving all buffs and rendering the sanctum inactive. Oh. All right. But yeah, in the market, apparently we can just buy a lot of stuff, uh, including, like, armor and stuff. Oh. Uh, is it expensive? Uh, kind of. Oof. Then we're probably going to want to grind for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, for now, leave. So I'm going to leave you to your turn now. Okay, so here's my roll. I rolled a four. Get first into the town and check actually out if there's something that you might actually need. <laughs> All right, Whoops. So let's check the market. Um, let's see here. Elm pipe, God's beard. Okay, so the God's beard is a healing item. Okay. Golden root. Dancing nettle. Use this herb to gain your herb while traveling to gain plus two movement. Use it during combat to gain plus 25 speed. Ooh. Axe Bane, Teleport Scroll, Fermented Roots Worth. All right, so, um, a sword, spike pole, quarter staff, all right, white loot. So, ooh, the Scholar's Cap would probably be pretty good for me. Well, you're missing free gold. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I guess it would be kind of okay if you replenish your health real quick, because you did take quite a hit. Yeah. Ah, 4 HP, it's nothing. Well, it's a roguelike. That can go down really quick. True. Services, in, meditation, healer, blessing. I'll go to the inn. All right. Oh, so okay. now it's my and, turn. Oh, oh, it's like a long rest in D&D. &D. Like, you go to the inn and... Ah, uh... Uh, yes, I see. Deep pool, test your skills. What does it do? Oh. Encounters. While traveling in the wilderness, one will happen uh, upon a variety of situations and encounters, ranging from uh, fortuitous to outright deadly. Ooh. Bad weather increases the chance of negative encounters. Some encounters show the stat to be tested above uh, the encounter on the overworld map. Some encounters have unknown outcomes. Some encounters cannot be focused. See unfocusable enemies. A uh, symbol. Sorry. Oh, this is basically just like an... Okay. Uh, so, I Ooh. guess I could start fighting this uh, beastman here. Hang on, before we continue, I noticed something. Huh? Um, at the top here, there are those hearts. That is our life pool. According to this, every time a character is revived, the life pool decreases by one. So if we die and are revived, we lose one of those hearts. Oh. And if we lose them all, I'm guessing it's game over. Yep, probably. Okay, uh, should we fight this beastman here? Uh, sure, we can fight him. All right, then I'm heading here, clicking, and yeah, it's only us both against him. Okay, so it's just him, so... Uh, fight. All right. You start, then he comes, right. then me. All right, so... I'll use this. Ooh, perfect even, nice. Yeah, I pierced his... Oh, oh ow. yeah, that was your face. Yeah, didn't anybody ever teach this beast man not to strike a lady? Because my character's a woman. Annihilation! Oh, oh nice! Holy crap, that must have hurt. All right, so we got gold coins. And the feathered hat, ooh. I'm oh, gonna... I see, so we both basically get this stuff. And I, oh, I just took the money. I thought we both have that separately. Okay, you take the hat, you take the hat. All right, I'll clip it. I'm sorry, I literally didn't know that was how that goes. 
It's all right. It's all right. I didn't even know how to. I got all the money. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's any way to transfer. Okay, uh, can I move back? No, I can only go here. Okay. But I need to then go back. Oh, that's a wolf. A timber wolf. Oh, you got five. Nice. Ooh, nice. All right, let's check here. Um... Oh yeah, guys, the, the episodes are probably going to be between 30 to 35 minutes. Because this is a game that takes a little bit more time. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and encounter this wolf. I'm with uh, ya. Ooh! I have a 56% success rate for a sneak against this guy. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, then try, try, try. Alright. Yes! Success! Oh, you just snuck past him. Ooh, uh, I think I should not have gone that far down. And because if I engage no. this guy, it would be just me. Okay, then let, let me encounter now. Okay. Um, hold on a second. I, I want to I wanna check something real quick. Uh, sure thing. Oh! Allows the user to instantly travel to an empty land hex within a given distance, determined by the user's intelligence. I have a teleport scroll. Wow. Okay, so God's Beards, Golden Root, Tinder Pouch. Used to create a camp in which all party can members may heal and regain focus. Okay, so that's useful. Oh, damn. All right, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just fight the Timber Wolf. All right, then g give me my round, and I'm going to fight it. They focused. Four. Let's fight. Ambush. Yeah, I only have a 19% chance of success for the ambush. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Ooh. Timberwolf seems to be actually a little bit... Oh, steadfast. Yes. He literally Ooh, didn't even... Awesome. He literally didn't even deal damage. All right, so I will do an area blast, and it's perfect. Perfection is key. Okay, I'm trying. Um, I'm going to He's attempt a uh, to use a shockwave. He's only got like. Oh, never mind. Ow! Ouch! Hmm. Okay, you take the money this time. Uh, I do not have the ability to take the... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I, I can... Oh, I can either collect it for myself. I can share, which is uh, probably that it's then basically half-half. Okay, yeah. I don't want to press pass right now because I don't want that it basically says we throw it away. So I guess I'm trying share for now, okay? Right. From now on with the coins, we'll just do... Yeah, okay, uh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Okay. All right, Dancing Nettle. Uh, use this herb uh, while traveling to gain plus two movement speed. Use it during combat to gain plus 25 speed. That would be useful for me. Yeah, you go ahead and have it. Uh, I can't do anything anymore. Okay, I'll pass on it then. Okay, yeah, then I can... Oh, okay, that is what it does. Okay, then I can okay, collect so, it. Yeah, so next time we fight an enemy, I will... Uh, uh, get the loot. I, I might actually should take the upper route to get basically past the statue down to the shrine, probably. That'd be a good thing. All right, I'm I'm taking the upper route then. Right. But yeah, I, I'm I'm going to be honest. Th th this is interesting. I wasn't expecting this game to be like this. Yeah. Okay. So I've got four mo movements. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, you're right there with the bee, or wasp, yeah, or whatever. Bee swarm. It's called bee swarm. Oh. All right. So. Not uh, the bees. Turn. Oh, oh! I just noticed. Every time we go through our turns, that time on up there moves, and there's a chaos event, um, that's coming up, like well, in yeah. a couple of turns. Okay, I'm I'm moving all five spaces immediately, and you can encounter them the swarm. Okay. Right. Ooh! Hildebrand! You have stumbled, stumbled upon Dark Cave. 
Oh my god. Mini <laughs> you have stumbled upon the cave. <laughs> That's so cave for talk. <laughs> <laughs> what are we playing? Poetry for Neanderthals or something? I don't know. Mini dungeons well, are short but cannot be es escaped until they are cleared. All right. Your turn. But right. Yeah, I really like this game. This is fun. This is fun. I don't know how good this would be for like a series or something, because I don't know if we could continue after we leave, but... Uh, probably not, considering it's procedurally generated every single time. Oh, I can go into the uh, dark cave if I go straight for it. Oh, you can? Uh, then let's give yeah. it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, you're just in. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> enter party. Ooh! Well, I'm okay, in. so we both go in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, that doesn't look good. Oh god, they are really, really strong. Oh boy. Um, I will use Area Blast. Yeah, that didn't really do much, I can tell. Uh oh. Ow! Hey! Oh no, wait, the 40, that means our health points, the big number. I literally said that. Oh. You did? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, that's what the red number is. It's health. Wait, how do I switch target? Uh, with your mouse cursor, I guess? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to hit the skeleton because he seems to be the most dangerous, I guess. All right, go and for it. I guess then you go for the hag? I'm doing area blasts. Oh. Oh, yeah. Your area blast might actually be able to beat us. Ooh. Okay, I, I, I mean, that wasn't that bad. Okay, do area blast and hit all. Yes! Oh, the hag is still holding on. Oh, my on. God, and it's my turn. Bonk. <laughs> it's just the hammer against the head. Just the bonk. Okay, right. uh, here, this time, this is for you. All right, uh, so collect. Ooh, this is for me. Whee! Yeah. Oh, damn, I should, I sh uh, wait, can I immediately equip it? Hmm. Here, um, I'm going oh, yeah, there, equip. There we go. I'm going to use a herb to heal myself back up. Choose an action. Make wait. any final preparation before proceeding. Press ready when you are done. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, it's something like this. Okay, this is interesting. All right. Oh, they're both level. They're both level one. I think. All right. So they're both faster than us. So. Yeah, literally Let's both, move. and both just attacked me. And that hurt a little bit. Um. Oh, I have new skills. Oh. So what's your skill? Um, I got Precision Stab, which has a 50% chance for perfect ignore armor. Uh, I have a Slash, which has a 50% for perfect, which equals bleed. And, well, my normal attack. But it's all uh, I guess party, right? I'm going to attack... A attack the Cut Purse. Okay, I'm going to attack the Cut Purse then. Yeah. Ooh, that was a critical... <laughs> Nice! <laughs> oh god, here we go. Ouch. Oh, I blocked it. Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, So I will use Surge. And that got him. Oh, okay, yeah, this has four stages. We are going to get to the, the next one. All okay, right, and we're so, sharing uh, this. Uh, share the gold coins. Uh, use this herb to replenish Take HP. No, 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 no. Wait, do I have one? Oh, no, wait, you have one of those. Okay. Yeah, I have one. Okay, yeah, then I collected it actually for me, yeah. Okay, so inventory, I'm going to actually use one of them. Yeah, it might be good. I don't have to use one just yet. So there we go. Ready. All right. Um, let's see here. Seriously, this is really, really cool. I like this. 
Yeah, this is fun. Oh, treasure chest. I. For Open some it. reason. Oh boy. I knew it. Mimic. I knew it. Oh, we are fucked. No, no, we're not. All right. Uh. Surge. Perfect. Oh, I only did six. Oh god, and he's attacking again. Ooh, damn. Okay, I'm trying this. Please work. Yes! Okay, Come I'm on, using get, my god. Get, here. get a strong attack. Do I you have die. anything? Oh, I can, I can attack. I can yeah. attack. Can, uh, can you do anything that do, deals over 10 damage? No, I can't. Ah, shit. Still. Yes. Come on. Here comes his attack. Oh, yeah, that really hurts you. I'm finishing yeah. him. Finish this. Oh, my God. He has one HP. Finish him. Finish him. I didn't get a perfect. Oh, no, oh he, he resisted. resisted. I'm fucked. Oh, probably because you used it too often. Oh, oh he chomped just... our Tinder pouches. And and my teleport scroll. Okay, I'm killing you. So are we getting our stuff back? Okay, we're sharing the money, obviously. Hermit grass. Use this herb while traveling to become undetectable. Use it during combat to gain 25 evasion. I think you can have that. Gathering bonnet. Um... Uh, find distance, minus five speed, party heal, gather herbs. That would be more something for you. Yeah. So, uh, I'll pass on this one. Alright. Mine gives me plus one resistance, plus one max focus, plus one talent, plus one luck. Doesn't have any negative, though. Yeah, but uh, look at the skill. It gives you also a party heal. You can heal us, actually. True. Okay, I'll equip it. Yeah, now our items seem to be gone. Yep. Yeah. Okay, final stage. And then I guess we're going to also cut the episode then here. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Royal chest. I think this... I have is no actually... other choice than open. Twelve coins. Share. That That's is for, for you. me. That's for you. Nice. Oh, wait, wait. Book of War. Rare manuscript. A far old storied history. Can be used to unlock secrets through the land. Oh. Faded cool. pearls. Resistance, magic damage, and max focus. Ah, that's for that, you. That's for me. <laughs> God damn it. And a teleport scroll. You can have this one. I'm all right. Carnival, carnival ticket. ticket. This will grant one person access into the dark carnival. Okay. All right. I'll grab it. Hey, that was nice. Okay, uh, hold up. on. I want to see something. Can I? We can save an exit. Thank God. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to cut actually this episode right here. We're going to probably continue this game because this is fun. This is <laughs> really fun. I'm glad I had the idea for us to try it. <laughs> Because, seriously, I usually don't really play these games that often, but this is actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it's really enjoyable. Hell, we might even oh. play some of this on the offline. Uh, but. but I guess you should actually heal. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, but, oh, I don't have any healing items. Wait, hold on. Maybe uh, just checking real quick. Can I give healing items to... Oh, I don't have a healing item. Oh. Uh, you do, you use have this the, herb uh, while traveling to gain plus two movement speed, and use this herb to replenish free focus. Ah, fudge. Yeah. All right, then I'll go ahead and finish out my move. Finish off this turn. Just come up here. All right, and I'm going to use my move actually as well, so that I basically am around you. Yeah. That might oh wait, be I should actually first go for that speed rune stone over there. Go for the speed room, and we'll we'll just call it there. Uh, yeah, you should actually give me my turn then. <laughs> oh right, right, right. All right, and let's see. What am I going to roll? Five. 
Oh! Yay! Okay, so I'm going to get this. Devote. Go, hero. Let the wind guide you. Nakarama has gained plus two movement bonus. Yay! Okay, so, but we're going to cut it now here, so thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, then leave back a like and a comment. Tell us what you, blah, great. Tell us what you thought about it. And don't forget, also, share the videos around on this channel. But if you also feel like uh, you want to see a lot more of other videos that I've uploaded or games that I've played, uh, remember, you can subscribe to the channel and also uh, click the bell icon to always be up to date for new content. And as per usual... We hope we see all of you guys in the next video. Till then, see ya! Later, Jace!